Vegas, Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, here in the United States, and I'm at the Encore Hotel, which is uh, the number one hotel in uh, all of Las Vegas, and actually one of the number one, uh, one of the top hotels that we have around the world. Um, it's beautiful, absolutely stunning here. Um, I'm in the uh, spa uh, salon, and uh, just uh, just about to go in for the spa treatment. My wife is doing the same thing, and we're really enjoying ourselves. But um, just something I wanted to share with you um, that was so, so important to, to my business 21 years ago when I got first started off in the industry is that uh, I work very closely with my coach and my mentor. Um, he talked to me about uh, the things that were critically important when we got started off in the business. Uh, the first thing that he talked about was the simplicity. Uh, the second thing was the fundamental. Number three, if you wanted to get paid while you sleep, you had to have duplication in the business. Um, he talked about burning desire, the work ethic. But he said, Dan, so, so important was the coachability to be teachable. Interesting. Just a couple of years ago, this is after being in this industry just about 20 years, I asked uh, my coach again, I said, so Jeff, now what? We had uh, both uh, achieved a financial level um, that we had only really dreamed of when we first got started off in this industry, but because of it, uh, we were able to accomplish those things. But I asked him, I asked him again, I said, so now what? What do we do now? Uh, he says, well, there's a few things that you, you certainly never, ever want to forget. Number one, don't ever forget where you came from. Number two, always remain humble. And number three, don't ever, ever, ever stop growing. So when you get started off in the business, it doesn't matter if it's your first year, your second year, your 10th year, your 20th year, is that you never, ever stop growing. When you're green, you're growing. When you're right, you're right. So uh, I'm going to turn it back to you and uh, look forward to seeing you. All of you again, we're heading off to myself, uh, my partner Jim Garcia, uh, to Moscow, Russia, uh, here just in the next few weeks. Uh, Mr. Garcia right now celebrating his anniversary with his wife um, at the number one spa in, in all of Canada called St. Anne's. So that's where he is. I'm here with my wife. We're enjoying the, the fruits of this wonderful, wonderful business, and uh, all of you will too. Take care. We'll talk to you soon. Now, um, it's taken a lot of work to, to get where we have uh, got to here in the business, but uh, the biggest reason I've been able to get the success in our business is because of this lady right here. And uh, Robin, what is it that you found um, just through this journey was one of the biggest reasons for the success that we've had in the business? Well, when I first met you, you taught me that you have to make above average sacrifices to have an above average lifestyle. And then I soon learned that your commitment level to the business and my commitment level to you in the business was going to be equivalent to our income level. Right. And then as the income grew, we started having the yes factor come into our lives. Right. Meaning, yes, I can have that dress that I like in the window. <laughs> yes, we can go out for dinner. And yes, we can eat at that restaurant. Right. Yes, we can help a loved one out. And yes, we can live where we want to, in right. the neighborhood we want to. And a perfect example is yes, we can attend our dear friend's wedding, which is a destination wedding, and here we are. So I really believe that the yes factor is also equivalent to the income level. Right. And then you can have your life where you can always say yes. Right. And that's, that's it's been wonderful. Right. And one of the keys that we have found in this business that I learned 21 years ago when I first got started was that not so much having the spouse involved in the business, but having the supportive spouse.